hello guys welcome back it's been so long since i filmed a video and i kind of missed it so i was like do you know what today i've got plans it's my dad's birthday happy birthday pops and we are gonna celebrate this evening so i just had lectures this morning i went and picked up his cake it's from ole and steam guys ole and steam do birthday cakes and i feel like nobody knows that but they used to do like this massive strawberry tart with like this best vanilla custard i've ever had it was literally every single <laughs> member of my family's birthday cake last year but then this year they don't they don't do it they discontinued it so i got a strawberry cake i'll show you guys later but i picked that up i tried a pumpkin spice latte from ole and steam it was okay and then I drove home and now I'm about to start getting ready. So I have two hours and then we are going to flat iron and then we are going to go watch. Why do I keep forgetting what it's called? Mrs. Doubtfire, Mrs. Doubtfire. You know the one with Robbie Williams, but it's like a, it's a musical version of that. Okay, super excited for that because my friend saw it and apparently said it was really funny. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward for a little chuckle, a little giggle tonight. And then also flat iron. I literally fought so hard to get <laughs> to, to get my old footage going flat iron with me because flat iron has been on my list for a long time and to like, like as in like want to go for a long time. And then also my dad's favorite food is steak. So I was like, it's literally a steak place. And it's also one of the cheapest places that you can get steak in London. So I was like, it literally works out literally perfectly. And, and then they give you free salsa afterwards. So I'm like, it's kind of a no brainer in my opinion. So we did it we booked it and i'm so excited i'm wearing, i've been wearing my patagonia fleece because it's getting chilly guys today i was actually cold in this usually this this keeps you so warm it's proper like core energy like it keeps you it's like actually made for the outdoors like you will be warm if you wear it but today i was actually i was still a bit chillsville when i was wearing it and i was like is it time to crack out the north face i think it might be time to crack out the puffer north face it might be that time let's get going first things first is a bath okay guys i'm gonna have a bath and this is what was left of the pumpkin bath bomb but it is so amazing because it's one of the newer ones and it literally has like shea butter like in the middle in between the two pumpkins it was like a little pumpkin sandwich and this is the but this is literally my favorite bath bomb ever now well it's a bubble bar right and also guys when i went to america i bought one of the tree hut scrubs and it is the best thing i've ever smelt and used in my entire life it exfoliates so well this is poopoo -poo kaka i it smells bad and it makes my hair so dry and so bad and i'm just like why is it viral like why do people maybe i got like the wrong type for my hair but i was just like this i wouldn't recommend this love 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 and the scalp oil i really feel like the, buying the scalp oil again because it was amazing all right let's draw the bath Okay guys, I'm fresh out the shower. My face is literally still wet because you want it a little bit wet when you put niacinamide on. I think, is it you want it wet when you put on like any serum just because it helps it like absorb into your skin more? I'm not 100% sure, but I, I feel like that's definitely the case for hyaluronic acid, but I don't know. I do it for the niacinamide too because I feel like it like absorbs in better. I like to do my skincare, then my hair care, then outfit, then makeup last. I don't get how people can do makeup and then hair. Beyond me, beyond me. This robe is from the White Company, by the way. It's so nice. It's such, it's like a waffly texture. I love it. Okay, whilst I'm waiting for my first bit of skincare to like sink in, I'm gonna do a bit of my hair care. So basically, I put this Aveda, it's like a thickening mousse foam. I usually use the styling mousse, but I just ran out. So I'm gonna use this one now. I just love putting like mousse and stuff in my hair. I don't know why, it just like, it's just nice. I just feel like I'm doing my hair a little sweet treat, you know? And then I put my hair in a bamboo microfiber towel. This sounds intense, it's not that intense. Basically this, and then I wrap it up and then I let it dry for a little bit because apparently it's really bad for your hair to like blow dry it when it's still like soft and wet. So this is what I have added into my routine. So in here, I alternate between this Aveda Thickening Tonic Spray and this Aveda Neutral Plenish Leave-In Conditioner. And then I also will put in the Olaplex on the ends of my hair at the end once everything is all dried up. Here, yeah, cute. 
she's drawing we're gonna finish off the skincare it's like a jasmine tea facial spray that i got at like a market at like these really cute little markets in china when i went this summer so i just spray that all over my face <coughs> Okay, once that's all dried in, then I will use this Cicaplast AM Balm. Usually, I just like the plain Cicaplast Balm, but I couldn't. They were literally all sold out of it when I went to Boots, and I was like, damn. That's what happens when things go viral. But the Cicaplast Balm, it's just amazing. And if this is second best, then I'll just have to do with it until I can get the normal Cicaplast Balm. But this is pretty good. I think the only difference is that this has a bit of SPF in it because it's like an AM Cico Plast Balm. But yeah, I just rub this into my face. And I also like to add on a bit more of the, the Roche Posay 50 Plus Facial Sunscreen. This works so well. Like it literally just like, it is so good. Like literally like one wipe and it's just fully dissolved into your face. Whereas like, well, absorbed into your face. Whereas like other sun creams, you have to like rub and rub and rub for ages to get to it to stay into your face. You know what I mean? So there's that. That's everything for the skincare that I just let it sit in before I start doing my makeup. And then let's pick out my outfit and then we'll do my hair. Let's brainstorm, let's brainstorm. So it's like smart casual, not too formal, not too informal. I don't wanna do jeans. I think I wanna wear my sandals because I can't wear Uggs because it's raining raining i am so it makes me so sad because i love my uggs so much and they are like my pride and joy and i have two of them the the short ones the minis and then the like chunky like slippers you know so nice i want the ones with the red stitching too but like come on girl i need to hold it together because you can't even wear it the whole, like the whole of like british autumn and winter like you can't even wear them outside so i feel like it's not a very good investment for me to get them because i can't even wear the ones that i have so why would i get another pair you know what i mean and i don't want to destroy them so yeah so i'm probably gonna wear my sambas okay i've decided to do hair first so we're gonna spray my hair with this and then we are going to uh, give my hair a little blow dry with the dyson on the fit and now i'm just supposed to do my makeup so i'm wearing the jerf avenue pants and i'm wearing this sweater from ba and ash and then i have this nice like trench it's not like a full length trench and it's so chic it's like pleated at the top this is also from ba and ash and i'm just planning on tying it like this and then i have this balenciaga suit bag and that's the fit that's my favorite time makeup time so i filmed a tiktok of me doing my makeup so i use a lot of charlotte Tilbury stuff there's some refry primer the hourglass concealer which i just got and i love it luminous silk armani foundation which is literally like the perfect shade match then i contour up contour up get some blush on you then do then i set everything with like a powder version and then boom that was the final product and then i also did a tiktok showing my outfit for the day i was so happy with this outfit it was so comfy by the way guys and then we were off to the show This is the outside of Flatiron. We went to Flatiron outside of Waterloo. It was actually super convenient. And then they give you popcorn on arrival, which is so nice just to like nibble on while you're deciding what you want. And look at the knives. Oh my gosh. Like this is like a proper like steak knife, butcher knife. And I just got the classic Flatiron steak. It was so good. I got it medium well. And then we got some creamed... Um, spinach some triple fried chips and then the roasted aubergine so this is like a close-up of all the sides uh, guys we did actually end up getting like quite a lot of the sides i think we ended up getting like pretty much every single side because like we were sharing and it just you know 
there's there was enough for everyone you know and so then we got the truffle mac and cheese and also the mash and then this is your little token that you get which gets you the free ice cream so it was like vanilla this is just me doing a fit check in the toilets very cute i love that jacket i literally love it so much and look they sprinkle the chip the like chocolate chips on top it is so cute if you've never been to flatiron i would seriously recommend the cone was actually so good that was the flavor that we had tahitian vanilla and brown butter ice cream which is like a very unique flavor as well and then you put your token in there and then you get a free free ice cream We got a Starbucks. I got the ISO chicken espresso with um, the pumpkin cream foam. That is literally my favorite drink of the season. And then we went to Mrs. Tupperware. Guys, it was literally so funny. It was so well done. My favorite scene was like the cooking scene. It was just like really funny. Everything was just amazing. Like I would really recommend that show. And then I came back, did my nighttime routine, and then I went to bed. So that was just a little flosser. That's my tongue scraper. I really need to clean that toothbrush, but that is my toothbrush. And then this TheraBreath Fresh Like mouthwash is literally the best mouthwash ever. It is literally so good. And then I just did my skincare and then it was literally time for bed. I hit the hay. I was so tired. Like by the time we got back, it was literally like midnight. So I needed my rest. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.